Welcome Universe Pick Flavor Customer. This YouTube video will explain about how to work with the Universe account, Pick Flavor account using the YouTube ODBC client or using YouTube Toolkit client with a UCI connection. Also, we'll explain the difference between Universe SQL NC SQL and YouTube ODBC SQL statement. So, if you have the pick flavor account, uh, first time you try to work with ODBC, you might not see anything because ODBC you need to do a couple of things to make it available for you to ODBC client. Uh, they have two ways. One way is you have a schema, but this video just talking about without schema using the dynamic normalization. So also you need to use in uh, HSMN tool to activate the, your account first. So you can use an ODBC client. Uh, when you activate the pick flavor account, uh, you will create a .hs underscore file info cache file and also have some file access control. Uh, if you have some dictionary problem, you might be using uh, HS scrub command to uh, update your dictionary file. And for ODBC, have another thing called ODBC naming compliance. You can uh, read the YouTube ODBC menu to get more detailed information for naming compliance. Uh, in the dictionary, have uh, one very important called add select uh, field to, de to describe which field will be allow you to show you on the ODBC client. So if you're working with the ODBC client before you know familiar with the hs.mn tool, uh, the tool will be show you which account already activate. You can activate, deactivate, and also update the file cache, uh, file information cache in your account. So uh, first, uh, you need to find uh, you want you to 32 bit or 64 bit. Uh, for my demo, I only using 64 bit YouTube ODBC client. Uh, you can also see my uh, another video, uh, how to install it, how to set it up on another YouTube video. Uh, for the ODBC configuration file, uh, by default, you will see use the cache info. Actually, it's a re the cache file on the server in your account called .hs underscore file info. So I will using a couple uh, sample file to uh, demo how to work with the pick flavor account. So uh, one is a simple one called prod mst file. Uh, I, I provide the two basic program to generate uh, this simple sample program, a uh, sample file uh, called create underscore file dick underscore prod mst program to generate. It's a, a pick flavor is type dictionary. So this one is pretty simple. Uh, basically, just generate the single value called prod p r o d m s t. Uh, you will create another. Uh, table called prod msc underscore whs table. Uh, this one is no associate no association field. So if you look at the uh, information like a zero zero four is no uh, association field definition. So when you have a uh, Matter value field, it will generate uh, by dyna dynamic norm normalization, will create a two different table. So uh, you can use in universe a SQL command, uh, just a simple like a select star from prod MST. But on the universe SQL, it will show you 
both uh, include a single value and multi value. But you also can use in uh, the select star from plot MST underscore WHS because this field is multi value field, no association. So this one uh, you only see is multi value data only. On universe also provide another way to you can use in called a nest uh, keyword to expand single value and multi value in the one SQL statement. On the ODBC side, uh, you can use in like a SQL join uh, to join the single value and multi value in one SQL statement to uh, display all you feel you want. On the ODBC, a uh, little bit different. So by default, using ODBC, if you use in the product, uh, select stuff from product MST, you only see is a single value. So if you want to uh, also get the uh, mother value, uh, you need to have underscore WHS. Uh, it will show you a mother value field. But uh, sometimes you want to uh, join together, uh, you can use in the SQL join, uh, SQL equal join to get the single value and mother value uh, data together. Uh, you also you can use a next uh, keyword, but the configuration it will be different. The second example I use called Product MST2. Uh, this one is a little bit different on the previous one because they have association. Uh, for my demo, you will see uh, WHS, a uh, fear is a uh, fear one, and WH that name is a fear two. So they're using uh, on the S type dictionary fear uh, is actually is a number. Uh, fear four. They uh, they see is the control. It's the name. I uh, show you on the association the mother value table called WHS. But uh, another fear is called D. Uh, one back to the uh, fear one is a control fear called WHS dot name. So. Uh, when you using same thing like a universe, uh, select stuff from pro MST2, it will show you both. But uh, for the next one, uh, you will see the different. Uh, if you underscore WHS, uh, you will see the two additional fields called WHS and WHS dot name. But for the ODBC, uh, because the naming. Uh, Comply ODBC compliance, so it will show you actually actually the name will be WHS and WHS underscore name by original dictionary with that name and it will become underscore name. Another is at SOC field is the position for mother value field. It will become Z underscore uh, ASOC underscore row. So its naming will be different. So the third one is called Product MSD3. It's just very similar like two. So just show you the little bit different. So you will see the uh, uh, normally you just need to see the field number four. It's called a control field. So you will see uh, C uh, semicolon two, semicolon three, and the other two fields connect back to the. Uh, the field one at WHS, so it was three field association together. So it's very similar. Uh, the SQL statement and just give you a little bit different result. So it's very important uh, after you activate, you want to see. Sometimes you want to uh, use an ODBC client to get the uh, get the table on the mother value field, but uh, sometimes it, you will see invalid the table name. So I just want to see uh, is 
is the table is activated or not. So uh, they have a couple of different ways. Uh, one is called VHS File Info Tool. You can download uh, from my uh, YouTube video description field to download the tool uh, to show you. Uh, it will, it's just a display. It can work with a window Unix. Uh, using the uh, you, you will download the application to display .hs file underscore info file cache file. If on the Unix, uh, actually it's more simple. You can use in the cat command to cache the cache file, uh, just something like this, and to see the table is it, it does exist on the cache file. Uh, also, when you install ODBC client, we also provide called ODBC tester. Uh, it can provide a similar function to show you. Uh, you can use in call a uh, sample, uh, just choosing the call subroutine dot uh, hs or edb info. Uh, you can see the similar information to uh, see the cache file. So, what's the different uh, universe SQL? Universe SQL basically it's for most of the database is just called NC SQL ninety two. By universe SQL, it just plus a little bit uh, SQL function to it is it show you the mother value data. So uh, just give you example uh, for here when you uh, you is in this kind of statement, uh, it will show you uh, the single value and mother value also. Uh, so you also can use in the SQL join, uh, equal join to show you the mother value, sub value at a one simple SQL statement. Uh, the other, we have a couple of different tools called you to toolkit UCI or JDBC. Uh, basically, it's just a very similar ODBC, but the naming, uh, it can be very different. So uh, for ODBC, uh, by default, we're using the cache file and also is dynamic normalization. If you want to uh, different using the next uh, SQL statement, then you definitely you need to have another DSN to set up is the using the uh, an, an first normal phone uh, setting. So after you set it, uh, you can work with any ODBC client. Uh, also, you can use an Excel. Excel uh, provides some kind of Microsoft query, so it can give you the idea. Uh, you can use for the single table uh, or SQL join. Uh, you can show all the uh, details just like this example. I will show you later on my demo. So uh, that's the default one. Uh, you can see. Uh, using the statement, uh, that's ODBC. So when you see the naming, will be if you have a dot, and uh, you will definitely it become underscore for ODBC uh, field name. So uh, if you none uh, first normal phone, uh, you want to use it a nest. So basically, you just need to set up uh, the in, inside the configuration and also. Uh, in the SQL statement, we'll be using a uh, called native uh, statement. So I will using a couple of uh, sample of uh, file to show you uh, what is the different. So first, I like to uh, I like to show you is the uh, called prot uh, prost uh, file. So this one actually I use in a very simple program uh, called uh, this program. I will show you uh, called create file dig underscore prod. Uh, so you will create a file and also uh, create a dictionary and sample data. So after you using this program uh, to generate the product prod. So I will show you uh, what is the look like.
So it's a pretty simple program. Uh, basically, it will only contain three records. Uh, this is WHS. Uh, is the warehousing. Is the uh, area code uh, like uh, uh, zero two zero zero three zero. So that is a matter value field. So you will see uh, if you look at the dictionary. After I run a uh, create file dict and the prod mst file, uh, it will show you uh, the dictionary. So look like this, but uh, because the pick flavor, if you look at all the uh, field, it show you is m, but actually uh, the three field, the first one is matter value, the other two is a single value. So I will show you a little bit different. So, so the file uh, will be like this, CT, DICT. So I can product, MST. So first one is called WHS. So that's the first one uh, called WHS. Uh, that's the field one. It's no association, it's matter value field. There's a second one. Part the name. So if you look at the field uh, five, actually it's, it's single value. So another field is So this one also is the single value field. So after you create this file, then uh, without activate on the universe SQL, uh, you will uh, if you run the any SQL statement, uh, you will work in fine. Uh, for example, I can run in this file. So you can run the select statement. In the select statement, actually, in this the single value, and also in the uh, WH mother value field. But if you run uh, from, you can specify particular field you want. So, for example, you can uh, specify the order single value. So, on the universe SQL, they have dot. Product dot name dot qty. So you can select only single value field only. But if you want to uh, select the the mother value field, so it will give you additional called add asoc underscore row field to show you the position. So. On the universe SQL, look at everything's right, but when you go to the ODBC client, you cannot see uh, the WHS field it's because you need to uh, activate your account. So first, you need to make sure uh, to uh, run the HS.admin tool. So HS.admin tool. So you need to uh, show you is activate or not uh, because I before uh, demo I already activate called pick ACCT so if you uh, first time you need to uh, activate uh, just like a P I C K A C C T so first time you run activate and to uh, to show you uh, it actually when run this command, uh, it will actually it will do uh, actually do uh, two things. Uh, one is to create called dot cache file. So on your account uh, for my demo, I I create the account called pick acct account. So inside here, actually. Uh, you will create the 
uh, cache file called .hs file in four. So actually, it's this one called .hs underscore file in four. Also, you will create uh, the file called .hs underscore file assets. So I can go back to So you will generate uh, two files, uh, one is cache file, another is this is the access file. By default, some uh, system file is not uh, accessible. So let's just whole idea to create a cache file. Uh, cache file is you cannot direct to read it, so you need to use the tool to uh, see a particular file. So on uh, on Windows environment, uh, right now I, I show you a couple different ways. Uh, I have a tool, uh, this tool uh, called UVHS File Info. It's the uh, URDNA application. So when I activate, so I can uh, read the dark cache file. So you can check. So they have a, a you will see the product, uh, this one, and also we generate these two uh, entry in the inside the cache file. So same thing uh, for uh, actually they have another tool uh, you can use in uh, when you install the ODBC client. Uh, they have another tool. Uh, Call uh, U2 ODBC tester. That's a 64-bit. Before uh, you can use in the ODBC tester, you need to use an UCR editor to create uh, the entry called UCR data source. After you create the data source, uh, you can use in the U2 uh, ODBC data administrator uh, to create the DSN. I have another video to explain how to create it, but here just try to focus on the pick flavor dictionary. So I already created for this one. So this one uh, uh, by default, you will see the default uh, called pick flavor ODBC client. So for this one uh, by default, we'll be using the cache info. So after you create the uh, OD64 bit ODBC DSN, then uh, you can use in this tool. Uh, I can show you it's called Pick Flavor, uh, called Pick SCCT. Inside called Pick, yeah, this one. So you can choose this one and make a connection. So make a connection. So uh, inside the sample, they have a core subroutine. You can run it and just looking for product MST. So you will generate uh, this one. Uh, you will to product MST and another called product MST WHS. This one. So basically, you will generate this two. Uh, the uh, the table name inside the cache file. So after this, uh, you inside here, so you can use in here uh, to uh, run the SQL statement. So I can go back to the SQL statement uh, using the same tool called ODBC tester. So inside the ODBC tester, uh, you can uh, run this one uh, using the same SQL statement. So I will show you the ODBC uh, since statement. So let's just the uh, ODBC uh, statement. So you will get the result back and the output here. So uh, also I have another uh, ODBC tool. Uh, call this one. Uh, this one is called ADO ODBC Dex uh, 64. You can download it uh, from my uh, link uh, to get this sample program. 
So it's actually around the same uh, SQL statement and select. So you can get a uh, very similar uh, output like this uh, from this uh, uh, same thing like a uh, ODBC uh, ODBC tester to get the same result for the product MST table and product MST underscore WHS table. So if you have a Unix, uh, Unix is a little bit different, easy. So I already have a uh, Unix. So Unix, uh, you can, uh, I have same very uh, same thing called pick ACCT account. It can pick flavor account. So uh, I can run is the same uh, using the Unix command called cache to get a, a similar result. Uh, on this one, I already have a two called product MST file and also have a product MST two. Uh, so you can uh, look at actually it's the dot hs file info. So actually it's really this cache file. So the second one, uh, I will explain a little bit for second one uh, called product MST two. So uh, product MST two, uh, you will see a little bit different. The second one, the second one uh, basically just add additional field. Uh, I call uh, WHS name. So WHS name and WHS and uh, is associated together. So if you look at the uh, from from this. Uh, so, same thing for, uh, it was generally only three records. So, if you look at the different uh, dictionary, so you will see the, they have a four field, one, two, three, four. Uh, the, the first one, WHS, is the mother value field, WHS that name also is the mother value. So it all together, and the other just single value. So I will show you just only additional uh, setting for dictionary called product MST2. Then you will see the WHS. So this time, and they have another field called control field in the uh, field number four, attribute number four. And if you look at the other one, So uh, it's called warehouse name. So basically it's the similar, but it just, uh, uh, it depends on the one dependency. Is This one is control, control field, and this one is dependent field on the uh, field one. So when you do this, so you can uh, run the very similar uh, for the SQL statement. So on universe, so you will see, uh, you will show you is two fields together. Uh, this uh, uh, the first one is WHS, another is called WHS the name is uh, together. Uh, they have a, uh, an association is the position is one. So for uh, the record this is one actually is two uh, mother body field, but the the second one is also two. But the, the the record zero two actually is three, so it's just the way uh, to associate in the pick flavor uh, dictionary. Uh, it, it's just the same on the uh, product MST file, but that one is no association. But the, the third example I will show you uh, is the uh, called product MST three. So I can show you the so one. Uh, are you sh it's the same, uh, very similar program, but this one I actually three free. WHS, WHS that name, uh, WHS that area. So you, when you ge generate this file, 
I will show you MST3. So it will give you uh, actually it's a three field. It's all associated together. So uh, it is for a record. It's only three record for demo. So the main difference you will see the dictionary three uh, WHS. So you will see control field it's two and three and CT. So let's just uh, WHS name associate a uh, WHS and also another one. So you see the another field attribute uh, together is the dependency um, back to the uh, attribute one. So uh, when you have created this, so you can see WHS3. If you look at the uh, select statement, you see the three field and get the output. So it's a very similar I can show you uh, for the uh, product MS, MST3 uh, table. So you can use in uh, same thing up to you. If you change every time, uh, you can uh, run hs.update.fileinfo uh, to regenerate the cache file, or you can use in hs.mn2 to uh, update it. So uh, after update, it, you should be see uh, three table uh, for my uh, demo system already have a product MST uh, single value table also have a uh, um, PROD MST w underscore WHS for mother value field and also have a uh, same thing for product MST2 and product MST3. So after you do this uh, you can uh, run uh, for example, uh, this one is or oh, this one is the SQL statement you can run here, and also you can use in uh, we call the ODBC tester. So I can show you the uh, same thing for uh, the similar SQL statement working on the uh, product MST2. So when you run this statement, uh, you will see the product WHS and WHS underscore name. So you will rename that uh, WHS that name became WH underscore name. So uh, very similar, uh, same thing for uh, for the other one. So we show you the other one. So it's just the same thing for uh, product MST3. The next demo I'm uh, just talking about a little bit uh, for NX uh, for the native uh, SQL statement. So uh, first you need to create uh, uh, another uh, another configuration to set the a non first normal phone. So I create another one called PC Pick SCC2. So for this one, uh, it's just same same account, but uh, configuration is a little bit different. So this one, uh, the the first normal phone is unchecked. So uh, they have a couple different options, but major thing is. Uh, must be uncheck a first normal phone to allow you to uh, run the native SQL statement. So uh, I can use the same thing uh, for the for the uh, using ODBC. So the ODBC one, uh, I I need to go back the connection because right now using the first normal phone, I need to disconnect. 
So I need to switch the second one. So this the uh, connect. So this one I will use in the native. So native command uh, is actually it's very similar uh, the statement. Actually, you put the statement like this. Uh, this one. So actually, is if you look at uh, the syntax, actually it's running the syntax like this. Uh, inside here, they have a next uh, keywords to a next uh, modified field. So you can uh, get the very uh, similar result like a uh, SQL join. So uh, same thing, very similar like uh, ODB uh, Excel. So here the Excel, if you run the Excel, so you can uh, create a blank. So I using the get data. Uh, data you can use in the they have two different ways to run the Excel. So I using the Microsoft Query. So inside the Microsoft Query, I show you a uh, very simple is using the pick uh, account. So inside here, for example, I can uh, generate very similar like a product MST. So uh, I can use in this one or uh, this one. So if you are using this one, and also I want to get the uh, Mother value field, so I can get another one, but I don't need to duplicate. So I just one. So I can uh, just show you single value and WH mother value field. So it's, everything is by default, and I return the Microsoft. And if we come back like this, so you you will also uh, show you uh, single value and mother value field. So actually uh, behind the uh, Excel, actually using the SQL join. So uh, if you want to get the, all the tool, you can download all my tool in this YouTube description field. So hopefully I give you just a very simple example to uh, explain uh, the the S type the dictionary to work on the pick flavor uh, account. So. Uh, you can uh, learn it and using this tool to work on the other pick flavor uh, dictionary. Thank you for your watching.